so this is a very puzzling thing. And um, unless here, someone here happens to know the answer, what's the elementary object in nature that does interact with the magnetic field? Yes, no. So I will um, reenact one of the experiments that were done in the, I guess, uh, early 19th century. It's a, a I have to imagine it was an accidental discovery. Actually, the accidental discovery, it happened the other way. People were observing the interaction with magnets, with this other thing, but I, I don't really have the tools to demonstrate that. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate the flip side of that interaction, where you have a strong magnet already, and some, some, um, inter some thing that you can describe as, in terms of some fundamental object, elementary object, interacts with this magnet. So right now, I have this magnet here. And um, let me move this camera so that you can see it better. Um, um, this is the, some setup I have uh, with the wires and whatnot. So when I move this magnet around, you don't see any interaction with this wire, right? And does that sound like that's what you would expect? Yes? Yeah, wires made out of copper. Um, key thing is that it's not ferromagnetic. I forget if it's diamagnetic or paramagnetic. But whatever it is, it's a very weak interaction. That's why you are not seeing any force. When I move this, you don't really see any interaction here. Yeah? Now, so that's true of copper wire and just a magnet. But what happens is, let me turn on this power supply. Um, can everyone read that it's uh, um, outputting zero current? Right. So what I have here is I have wire, the black wire here connected to the negative terminal. And I have this red wire connected to the positive terminal. And um, I have this end open so that I can briefly touch it to let current to flow. So let's see what happens. Oh, maybe I moved the wire. Mm. Oh, that's why I taped it down here. I want you to make sure that I don't accidentally move the wire. Let me just... Uh, Tape it down one more time to make sure that when I'm touching that end, you have some reasonable assurance that that's not what's moving the wire. So, all right, tape it down one more time. So, you know, even though I'm moving this, okay, that shouldn't move the other end, all right. Now, let me touch this end. So, I guess you can't, you can't really see it in the camera, but when you look at the screen, you will see this portion of the wire suddenly move. Then that matches with when the current starts to flow. Like, you know, that number, it goes from zero to three. That's sort of the maximum current my power supply can provide. So when it has zero current, nothing happens. When the current starts to flow, then the wire suddenly moves. And what's more fun is I can change the direction. So, so let me take this magnet and turn it around. So, oh, I don't know which end is North Pole. Probably should have figured that out. Does it, is it moving in the same direction it did the last time? No, it's moving the other way, right? So, um, so, so any guesses? Um, how would you describe the elementary object in nature that interacts with this magnetic field that's coming out of this uh, magnet? Electrons. Electrons. The electric charges are somehow interacting with this magnet. Now, it doesn't interact all the time, as you can see. Right now, it's not interacting. It's not doing anything. It interacts only under certain circumstances. So uh, let me do a couple things to describe them more carefully. Um, I have to kind of label this. The blue is the North Pole, right? Let me see. OK, so this is repelling the blue end. So this is my North Pole. <laughs> let me write N on it. Um, OK. Double check. All right. So this is my North Pole here. Um, let me do this experiment one more time. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to imagine that this is your uh, right hand or left hand side and the right hand side. Um, so when I let the current flow. Then it jumps over to the side. All right, so let me um, try to draw this picture on the board. So I have my North Pole here, which is producing magnetic field that's uh, pointing mostly upward. Where's my, oh. 
which produces magnetic field that I'm going to illustrate this way. And what I have set up is I have set up a current that flows from left to right. So I have a current that's coming in, um, uh, flowing through. So um, if we insist on describing this as uh, some sort of interaction with the electron, um, which direction is electron flowing? Left to right or right to left? Once again, so I'm describing my current as flowing from left to right. Yeah, because electron is negatively charged. Um, that's the convention. That's just the convention we have to deal with. So what this means is I have electrons that are moving from right to left, according to the description we have. So, um, so I have uh, two kind of things that are describing some sort of direction. Magnetic field pointing up. And I guess electron velocity pointing to the left. What direction is my force based on what you see here? Does the wire jump up or down? Does it really jump up? It jumps sideways, right? So it's not really jumping up. In fact, oh, let me uh, do this. I can change the direction of current instead. So if I just uh, flip this around here. Then I can change the direction. Wait, oh, can someone remember which direction the wire went? Okay, went came towards me, right? So when I flip the direction of current around, oops, then it goes the other way. But in both cases, it's, it goes sideways. It doesn't go up or down. So all right, it's going sideways. Is it going in the same direction as the? Direction of this electron velocity? No, because if it's going in the direction of the electrons moving, it would get pulled or pushed this way, right? But that's not what it's doing. It's going perpendicular to that direction. So on this board, let's be careful. So we are saying this is uh, left and right. And you know, you're kind of looking at the board. So the direction of the force, is it? Into the board, or uh, yeah, it's into the board, right? Yeah, so that's the direction of the force you get. In this picture, um, yeah, right? So this is left to right. Uh, wait, so I need to flip it around. <laughs> um, so if I'm drawing it, um, yeah, so yeah, so if, uh, let, me, let me do it another way so that, uh, sorry, I. Let me arrange this in a way that from the way you guys are looking at, the current is flowing from left to right. So this is the positive end that, uh, you know, the current comes out over here, flows through here from left to right. So when the things are set up that way, current, um, the wire gets pushed that way. So the force in this case is coming out of the board. Yeah. So in this picture, this electron, as it flows through, you get the force on that electron is out of the board. So this is what I mean, magnetism is complicated. Even trying to figure out the direction of magnetic force, well, it doesn't go in the direction of the magnetic field, apparently. <laughs> if you're trying to describe the elementary interaction of the magnetic field with the electric charge. And one of the things that seems to affect whether there's magnetic force or not, oh, let me put a little symbol. B is the letter we use for magnet. Oops, oh, it isn't for some reason. So, sorry. All right, so when you look at the, um, so if the electrons are not moving, if there's no current, then there's no magnetic force at all. So having this, uh, uh, charge moving must be an important part of it. And um, when you, you know, get there to be a force by you know, causing current to flow, then the direction of the force, once again, doesn't seem to have anything to do with the velocity. Because the force is not going in the direction of velocity either. Um, you know, if, so if it was going, so has something to do with the velocity, you might, um, you might be able to get some sense of intuition using friction force. Friction force usually goes uh, you know, against the velocity, but it's nothing like that here either. 
So it comes down to we have to somehow relate the so we are trying to describe the elementary interaction here. Somehow this magnetic field, which points up, and this uh, velocity vector, which in this case points to left, because it's negative charge flowing to the left. Somehow I have to be able to combine these two vectors to give something that's coming out horizontally out of the board. Have you seen any uh, mathematical operation or description that gave you this kind of description? You have two vectors, one pointing up, one pointing to the left. And by combining these two vectors, you have something. How would you describe the direction of this vector relative to these two? Yeah, you skipped a couple steps. How would you describe the direction of this vector to these other two vectors? Perpendicular, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are you guys whispering? <laughs> so perpendicular. So this vector is perpendicular to both the magnetic field and it's perpendicular to the velocity. And as Crystal was saying, the well, you know one kind of mathematical operation that gives something that's perpendicular to both of the inputs that are going into it, and that's cross product. So this is going to be how we describe magnetic force. So magnetic force, the very basic expression for magnetic force is, well, so we are describing force due to a magnetic field on some kind of charge. And it's not going to depend on just the, this, remember this is electric charge, not magnetic charge. It doesn't just depend on the charge, it also depends on the velocity, what kind of velocity it has. And I guess if I'm being complete here, it also depends on the magnetic field. So the equation for this vector force is going to be electric charge times V cross B. The velocity vector cross magnetic field. And that's what you are seeing here. I have set it up so the current goes from left to right. And from the cross product, current cross the magnetic field, force goes that way. Wait, but um, isn't the velocity pointing to the left? If you are doing cross product of V cross B, doesn't that go into the board? Why does force come out of the board? Ah, so you are saying that if instead of we had this uh, electrons, if we had a positive charge that's going in the same direction of current, then that would make sense, right? But is this what we really have? No, this is what we really have. So we want to make sense of this expression using what actually does happen. So, so let's wrap it up here. Um, so what we observed experimentally was that as the current flows left to right, um, is this still on? Yeah. As if the current flows from left to right, the force on the wire is it pushes it out of the board. All right. So let's try to reason it out through here. So when I do V cross B, what direction does the V velocity cross the magnetic field B go? It goes into the board, right? So I have to explain why the force comes out of the board. Why does it come out of the board? Because of this charge. Electron charge is a negative charge. So you know this charge here is minus E, not plus E. So because it's a negative charge that's moving. So, so you know, it's the same thing you had with um, electric field. In fact, I would tell you that um, this particular combination here, this is more similar to electric field than anything else is. The quantity of V cross B is the quantity that you can almost compare directly to electric field. Uh, and we'll talk about them more later. <laughs> <laughs>